Welcome to my book then. So my name is Ashima and I've partnered with Storytel India for this video and I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on audiobooks. So let me take you through the Storytel app first. When you open the app, there are a lot of book recommendations, but I suggest checking this one list out called Trending Now, which is so many trending titles that will cost you a fortune on Amazon, but here they're so much cheaper because you just have to pay 299 rupees per month for access to 80,000 plus ebooks and audiobooks in languages like English, Hindi, Urdu, Marathi, Bengali. Then let's check out the categories or the genres to be found. So from children's fiction to adult fiction, non-fiction, sci-fi fantasy, um, classics, poetry, YA, thrillers, so many to explore. Then my bookshelf. So I'm currently listening to four titles right now and enjoying them very much. Then we'll be taking a look at some of the features that help to make the app more useful. So for that we'll be going to the player. Then the first feature that I find very interesting is the sleep timer, which helps you decide for how much more time you want to listen to your audiobook before sleeping. So it's like someone telling you a bedtime story. Then another feature that is very useful is uh, that you can download the audiobooks for offline access. So you can listen to it while uh, traveling or on your commute. Then there's a speed changer as well so you can increase the speed to lessen the time. We'll get the history of the audiobooks out of the way, how the concept has evolved over the years and how it has become a popular medium to consume books. So, in, first of all in 1932, the American Foundation for the Blind and the Library of Congress they uh, partnered to open a recording studio where they planned to produce audiobooks. So back then they used vinyl records and each set aside had 15 minutes of recorded speech. So it was a lot more harder and also it was not portable. But then with the invention of uh, cassettes in 1960s and CDs in 1980s, it became a lot more better because a lot more of uh, speech could be stored in less space and also uh, the size became smaller and uh, although CDs were invented in 1980s they did not come into popular use in India till late 90s but we still had our cassettes and then CDs came into play a long time after so we had our nursery rhymes, short stories, mythological stories recorded on these mediums. So we have our own evolution of the audiobook as a format over the decades. And in 1994, the term audiobook had become an industry standard. So we had a name for the format. And in 2008, audiobooks could be easily downloaded from the internet. So throughout the history, you can see a pattern. There is an effort to reduce the size of the device so that it's portable, it's uh, more easy to carry around. So now the advantages. And because I've used the Storytel app, I will be mainly listing its features. First of all, it's very travel friendly because a lot of students and working people have long commutes. So they can uh, make the journey productive and also tackle the situation where they're reading three books and they don't know which one to take along with them. So um, you can easily access 80,000 plus books in ebook and audiobook format and choose which to read. It's very convenient. And then the price, it costs only 2.99 per month. It's very much affordable and even beneficial because you will be able to read a lot more books with the same amount of money as compared to hard copies because they cost a lot more. So there are a lot of production opportunities as well because there could be one person narrating the whole book so they will be playing different characters, voicing each character in a different style which is very interesting. And then there could be a whole cast, people playing specific roles given to them. Then there could be music involved as well. There could be authors narrating their own books and also celebrities narrating some books because Storytel, I have noticed, has Michelle Obama narrating her own book, Becoming, then there's Mel Streep, Stephen Fry, um, Kate Winslet. Then another advantage is that you can correct your pronunciations because no one is perfect in this world. Everyone makes grammar mistakes and pronunciation mistakes. So um, that's a way you can get better at it. Book recommendations. I have been listening to and enjoying two books on the app right now. So uh, one is Becoming by Michelle Obama, which is uh, narrated by her only and it's very beautifully narrated she knows exactly where to pause and where to hush because it's her book 
and uh, the storyline is very beautiful as well so it's a very popular book for all the right reasons and then we have five feet apart so this is for all the Faultina star fans so um, you can cry your heart out because it has been made in I think it has simultaneously been made into a movie and a book so it's uh, peculiar and the movie stars Cole Sprouse and uh, Hayley Liu I think that's the name of the actress I'm not sure I'm so sorry if I'm wrong but the story revolves around two teenagers who have cystic fibrosis so they have to be six feet apart at all times so um, in order to prevent you know ca catching infection from the other person so this was all for today's video thank you so much for joining in and I had so much fun making this video because I got to know a lot about audiobooks and to explore it as a medium and uh, I hope you explore it too because I will be excited to hear your thoughts in the comment section so uh, download the app start your trial and for the trial so ordinarily people get a 14 day trial but if you check the link in my description box below you'll get a 30 day free trial so please click the link and try out the app you may end up enjoying it a lot and you know the routine if you like the video like the video comment down your thoughts on audiobooks and the app as well and subscribe for more bookish content i'll see you in my next video till then bye